Okay, so here's another question I got. I'm just trying to answer all these questions. For which of the following values of k does the equation x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus x plus k equals 0 have four distinct, distinct, have four distinct real roots? x is negative 2, x is 1, or x is 3. So... This seems like a pretty tough question, but we have a calculator. So this is how simple I'm going to make this for myself. I'm going to skip over to my calculator after you copy down this equation. Skip over to my cast. I'm going to, from my cast, I'm going to go from here to control, page down. I'm going to add graphs. Let's see what we have here already. Probably already did this. Look, you can see I already did this, so I, I don't want to lie to you. I just worked it out up here. This is what I'm going to do. Just put it in, and I'm going to look for the four distinct real roots. <clears throat> So let's, let's actually do that. So let's go ahead and insert our graph. And here's our calculator here. And I'm just going to drop this in here. And it says that it's x to the fourth plus, four, well, it's minus, isn't it? That's really important. Minus 4x squared plus x. Plus, and they give us those three k values. I'm just going to use them one at a time. So I'm going to put in negative 2 first. So I'm going to go back here and put in negative 2, minus 2. Hit enter. We want four distinct real roots. Here's one distinct root. Here's another one. This is not a root. It's not touching. Um, so this is not one. So ne negative 2 is not one. I just want to see if I can pick this thing up for a second. Let's pick this up. Well, there it is. I was going to try to pick this up and show you something here where I just pick this up and move this thing up because my concern is that, well, I'll show it to you in just a second. I'll show it to you in just a second. Let's go back. Let's add the next one. In the next one, it's the same equation, isn't it? So it's x to the fourth minus 4x squared plus x plus x and the next value that we wanted to test was one isn't it so one look you can see what's going to happen if i add one it's just going to bring me up one so isn't it one whoops sorry Oops, sorry plus one all right so does how many distinct real roots does this one have this one has one two three four so one is a possible answer isn't it let's try it with three but you can see if we add three it's going to make it even higher but let's take a look really quickly so x to the fourth minus four x squared plus x right plus x plus three plus 3. And look, here we have two distinct roots, here and here. Now, hopefully you can see this and this is making good sense to you. What I, The other situation I want to talk to you about a little bit is, so the only answer that we had was x is equal to 1, made it work. But look, what would happen if we did this, if we went back to this, and what if we had x, uh, I'm sorry, k is equal to 0, like this, and we hit enter. And that gives us this thing. I want to be clear with you that this is one root because it says distinct roots. That means different from the other. This right here is called a double root. So it looks like it touches once, two, three, four times. It does not. So just to be clear about that. Look, you guys, I hope this is helpful. I appreciate you sending me the questions. I'm getting them answered as quickly as I can. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, and your comments, of course, are always welcome.